the leader of Pan Niger Data Forum, Pandev. Edwin Clark on Thursday warned the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu, against contesting in the 2023 general election. Speaking on Arise TV, Clark advised the former governor of Lagos State to go and rest despite coming from the most sophisticated region of Nigeria. Hmm, sophisticated. How? In fact, eh, the way people even classify people, eh, the way they even, the, I don't understand, sophisticated, sophisticated what, how, in what way, Nigeria sophisticated, this one sophisticated and they are behaving like this, and they've impoverished their, 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 their zone. Which place in this country is even worth of emulating or talking about all these politicians? <laughs> what? Well, they said eh, in the, in the, in the house of a uh, blind people, one person that has a uh, one eye, and he's the king. That being said, Clark stated that he would prefer to vote for Vice President Yemi Oshibayo to become Nigeria's next president than support Tinumbu. He described the Vice President as an intelligent man who has the quality to rule Nigeria in 2023. All of you are deceiving yourself. They are best of the same feather. You prefer or you want to because now, you talked about an Igbo person that uh, you have nominated, you've endorsed. So I don't even understand this kind of thing. No wonder they are saying a uh, betrayal, bloody betrayal from the north or from the south. The southwest is the most educated and sophisticated people in Nigeria. Like seriously, we can see it. We can see how sophisticated we can see how the development that is there. That is what they use in in, in brainwashing the people. Ah, our people are sophisticated how? The same way they will tell you, oh, the houses or the northerners, they are cooperating. See the effects of their cooperation. So where is the education they are talking about? I can't see it. They are sophisticated. The environment, the sophistication is not, re is not reflecting in the environment. Really, full of high barriers is what is being sophisticated. Hmm. Some people are some, something else. Well, but Tinumbu should go and rest other than the Igbos, I would vote for the vice president. He's an intelligent man. Okay, it's now you are speaking. Okay, if not, if Igbo is not going to be possible, Igbo presidency will not be possible, you will vote for Oshibaju. He then criticized the All Progressive Congress APC national leader of not being courageous enough to challenge those in authority on the affairs of the nation. Of course, you have a point there. You have a point there. That is to tell you that they are of same same. There is no none of them is bringing progress. Whether Oshiba is, is it the Oshiba that has been speaking concerning what has been happening in the country? Because people always like to excuse him. If you are accusing Tinubu of not saying anything, what of the vice president that is always saying uh, saying things out of point because he does not want to speak concerning what is happening under him? And that is why majority of the northerners want him. Because they know that he has not been criticizing Buhari, he has not been saying anything. And he's even supporting what Buhari is saying. He, he wants to continue with the legacy of, a, of a Buhari. He says he's going to be loyal to him. So why are you now choosing Oshibaju instead of a Tinumbu? Are they not uh, the same? They are the same. Tinumbu, Oshibaju is even worse because he's the one in, in government. They will tell you, oh, he's a, just a spare tire. He does not have say. So why did you people vote for him if you know that he does not have say? Because those were the reasons that a lot of people voted for him. Oh, eh, because it's this, is that. It's just for them to be there at their, for their own benefit, at your own detriment. We have a long way to go. If we cannot speak the truth, we can't move anywhere. Because if you are blaming Oshibajo, if you are blaming Tinubu, I see no reason why you shouldn't even blame Oshibajo that is even the one that is inside or they are the ones taking the policies it's unfortunate everyone is entitled to what he likes so, and that is the reason why people are always fighting because if we continue to say oh everyone is entitled because if the majority are not even knowledgeable enough the problem when it comes like what we are experiencing now it is not only those who voted for them or who supported them are suffering people who did not even support them who saw all of these things before now everyone is Everyone is suffering. And that's why people will continue to shout on top of the of their voices that no, this cannot happen. Because if whatever that comes at the end comes out at the end of the day, every one of us will be partakers of it. So what are we talking about? Where you are a PDP man, Edwin Clark, can you campaign for Oshiba Yo who is not in your party? Hmm. 
why insult the old man i don't even show you have a old man in your family tinumbu is above 80 years because in 2002 he celebrated official age of 55 really i have the picture if his daughter Iologa general is 62 are you trying to say that tinumbu gave birth to her when he was only seven years old mm, this matter eh, is always cropping up all the time about his age if someone is telling us that uh, at uh, in 2002 that his official age was 55 Huh. Okay. Tinubu seems not to understand the concept of time. There is time and season for everything. If the Eagles cannot produce a formidable candidate, then the best choice is Yemi Oshibaju. Tinubu should fly back to London and treat himself because wetting his trouser is not a good sign. <laughs> oh my god. Tinubu don't enter. Hmm. I cannot stop laughing. Papa that has Papa that has refused to rest at 93 is asking Tinubu to rest at 69. Who is 69 or 80s? Hmm, Tinubu above 70s. Tinubu is 39 years, please. Okay, 69. My ass, you would have said Tinubu is 49. This Buhari regime have not taught some Nigerians lessons yet. They will not learn. They will not learn. You see the way they are rooting for Tinubu again. But I just believe that those who want to eat under him, they want to collect his money. They are the ones that can say whatever they want to. Uh, apart from security problem, which Buhari inherited, he commissioned so many infrastructural projects than all the past uh, Nigeria's uh, presidents. So what about our, econ our economy? Oh? Mm -hmm. They support us. <laughs> you are simply a blind bat and cannot even reason properly due to your political sickness. Oh, some people are sick politically. So... <laughs> People who have lost their lives now, they will not clap for the thing. They will say, eh, Abi Buhari, yes, eh, only because of insecurity. Of course, those who have died have died. They don't even know what is happening again. Then what about their people that are feeling the pain? You can go and tell them all those nonsense that apart from medicine, which, which nonsense infrastructure? Uh, for those who are praising all this uh, useless infrastructure here and there, they know nothing. <laughs> Do we have infrastructure? Where is it? Where are the infrastructures? All those ones that are called infrastructure. Pika, I beg you. Some people, eh, there's something else. Tinubu cannot challenge those in power because he is very corny and selfish man. But it is true, for goodness sake, Tinubu is too old. Let's vote for a young man. Haba, someone that stayed in the UK for a long time. Treating himself, he got back again from the UK. Please, Nigerians, we cannot afford another disaster. They want it. That is why everybody must speak. Nobody should be silenced.